uh, this, the, the economic long-term future, unless we stop this spending spree, is, gonna, is, is not going to be good. Since you mentioned it, let's show Barack Obama tape seven. Um, in the course of a campaign, you hear sometimes that you learn to have to almost hate your opponent to try to win. Majority ownership stake and price. How, how did you feel about him then and now? I respect uh, President Obama and then Senator Obama. He's very articulate. He was able to get millions of people involved in the in voting uh, as never before. Uh, I, I respect him, and I always have respected him. And I've respected all of my opponents when I in political campaigns. I think sometimes that's lacking in some of them, and I'll and I will continue to respect my opponents. And I respect. President Obama. You've helped him in certain areas. You've tried to work with him in certain areas, but there are certain areas you've completely put the brakes on him and said, no, nope, can't go there. I was over uh, at the White House on Thursday. We have to get the cost overruns in defense weapons under control. They're out of control. And he the agrees with the overruns. Runs. Well, he, he asked me to come over to the White House and with the chairman of the uh, Armed Services Committee, which I'm the senior Republican, as well as from the House, and we had a good discussion about it. I think we're going to pass some of these reforms uh, before the end of May. I'm going to show some video. Which, by the way, shows, I think, some of my effectiveness for the people of Arizona as well. I'm going to show some video here, tape six. This is you on election night. Take a look. My friends, we have, we have come to the end of a long journey. The American people have spoken, and they have spoken clearly. That night, what went through your mind when you were standing up there and when it was over? And when did you know it was over? When Florida, probably when Florida came in, uh, was pretty hard doing the math. Uh, Nothing I weeks, felt, le weeks leading up to when the economy tanked in September? Uh, I, I, I'm a realist. I knew we had an uphill battle, but I fought until... But basically, until we were up in Prescott very late at night, we fought all tenaciously every step of the way until the last minute, until the morning. Actually, we did, did some stuff the morning of the election. So, um, look, uh, I, what, how did I feel? I felt exactly as I said. I was honored to have the nomination of the party of Abraham Lincoln and Theodore Roosevelt and Ronald Reagan. We ran an honorable campaign. I was proud of it. And I congratulated the American people and President Obama on his victory. You don't look back, uh, you say, but is there anything you change? Oh, I'm sure there's a thousand things you may want to change, but Sarah Palin that's a, be one of them. Oh, of course not. Sarah Palin is one of the, she and Todd and their family are one of the great blessings of the campaign was to have the opportunity to know them and have her as my running mate. She energized the base of our party. She did a marvelous job. Do you think she she's has a bright future. Oh, yeah. 